Congress is back in session, and that means the ANCA is back at work. We have a robust legislative agenda, all aligned with the ANCA's core mission, the North Star of the Armenian cause, the security, viability, and prosperity of the Armenian nation. What I'd like to do today is run you through a 360 degree review of our advocacy agenda for these coming two years. Very, very high on that list, of course, is ending U.S. complicity in Turkey's denial of the Armenian genocide. Not simply to end Turkey's denials and to promote Armenian security, but also to pave the way toward improved Armenian-Turkey relations in the years and decades to come. Obviously, Artsakh will be a very, very high priority for our community, and that involves both checking Azerbaijani aggression and also strengthening the current ceasefire. These are very high priorities. The Royce Engel proposals uh, advanced on a bipartisan basis in the U.S. Congress, which I think will serve as a very strong foundation for those, for those efforts. In terms of the region, we're also going to focus on uh, the nature of the U.S.-Turkey relationship. There needs to be a careful and um, close review of that process, a very fundamental review of that relationship, because it's changed a lot in the last decade, but U.S. policy has lagged far behind. Why, for example, are U.S. nuclear weapons still positioned in such a hostile and unstable and often unfriendly nation? We need to take a careful uh, look at that. We're also going to be looking at our traditional priorities in uh, the foreign aid field. Uh, those include, uh, among others, the continuation of U.S. assistance to Nagorno-Karabakh to support demining and also rehabilitation efforts, uh, continued assistance to Armenia in, in technical and economic fields, uh, and of course targeted U.S. assistance to help Armenia transition those who have fled uh, from Syria and elsewhere, Armenians and other at-risk minorities who are seeking to start a new life and a new home in Armenia. We are uh, going to focus on those aid programs, but also uh, move toward our aid to trade transition by focusing on economic development issues that promote growth and hope and opportunity uh, in Armenia. Uh, those include a double tax treaty that would eliminate the threat of double taxation for firms that operate in both jurisdictions. We're going to push for a Millennium Challenge uh, compact with Armenia that focuses on STEM education, that's science, technology, uh, engineering, and math, which would bring sort of an IT focus, uh, U.S. funded IT focus into Armenia's schools down to the, the elementary uh, school level. And then finally, uh, direct flights from Los Angeles to Yerevan connecting these two vital centers of the Armenian world. These uh, are some of our priorities for the coming two years. Uh, we will be turning to you time and time again for support on these and other issues. Uh, and uh, we will uh, need your help today. We need your help uh, right now. Uh, probably the most urgent thing that you can do or the most timely thing you can do is to reach out to your members of Congress in support of the Armenian Caucus because the Armenian Caucus operating on a bipartisan basis is going to be the foundation of so much that we're going to accomplish in these next two years. So please visit www.anca.org slash join caucus. That's anca.org slash join caucus. And from that site, you can write to your members of the U.S. House. If they're already a member of the Armenian Caucus, they'll get a thank you note from you. If they're not a member, they'll be invited to join. Uh, in either case, your outreach will make a large difference and will serve as the basis, a very powerful foundation for our work going forward in the next 24 months. Thank you.